every once in a while when we're at the show, we're just like running between all these boats. I, I honestly forget that we're in the south of France sometimes. But you see, you see a site like this and you, you remember we're a long way from Connecticut. Century old castle, centuries old castle with that wall sort of collapsing into the sea. It's a stunning sight, I gotta say. Um, it, it is. I was up, up on the point, I was standing here on the Pino outside of a Portuguese bridge. Yes, that well documented. So I was coming out of the bay as you were in the back and just hundreds of boats zipping back and forth from the show. And um, we just sort of made our way right through on the outer reef, exit 640 here. Nice, yeah, it's a huge crowd that's coming out here. Now I understand why. It's looking for some sunset crews, but you know, again, we're on the outer reef 640. What what are you cooking up here? You, you just took me out here and said we got an adventure. Yeah. Well, this is the first outer reef with the galley aft. Mm -hmm. They have a retractable window and the door opens wide. Uh, this is the way the people use their boat these days. Yeah. You know, they want to have that galley aft. They want to have to be able to serve the cockpit and serve the salon at the same time. Right. So this is the first boat with it, but it also is an outer reef. So it's a world traveler. It's ready, capable of world travel. They say 10 knots, 1,000 nautical miles. Un unbelievable range. And it's, I mean, everywhere you look, you're seeing these really salty features. You look at the accommodations, it's very luxurious, like unbelievable attention to detail. But one thing I noticed in the master stateroom, it's like, right next to the reading lamp is a Garmin MFT, so you can keep an eye on where you're going. It's, it's things like that to remind you, holy, you know, yeah. this, this boat can go around Cape Horn. It has crew quarters, but this is an owner-operator boat, you know? Yeah. That, so. A touch like that proves it. Right, Yeah. right. So uh, tell me, what what's on the menu? Well, I hired a chef. Oh, Jeff, things are looking up. They're you, looking you up. You didn't so. want me to cook for you? No, you're, you're, you're done for the day. Oh, I get scrambled egg special one more night, Jeff. I, I just need you to relax. <laughs> I need you to go back there, you will watch the action in the galley, and we'll see how this 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 concept works. It seems to be pretty popular. All right, well, that, that, sounds, that sounds delicious to me. So yeah. well, should we check out some of the action? Let's do it. The side decks are great, right? Yeah, Handholds, even, even with the huge fenders. Handholds where you need them. Everywhere you look, you need it. You, you start to feel like you need a handhold that's there. Right. Yeah. I think outer reef owners might be the most well traveled, maybe of any of yeah. any brand. Yeah. I was looking at they had a book in there of, of all their owners' adventures, and they, they were like Cape Horn, Patagonia. Yeah. Really, it's it's an unbelievable travel log. Even it, for a 64 footer, this is still a certification Class E vessel. Mm -hmm. 20 foot seas, 40 knot sustained wind, and open ocean conditions. So she's tough as nails yeah. and ready to go. Well said. Yeah. And I'm ready to eat. Yeah. Let's do it. Well, Jeff, I hope you're hungry. What do you think of the spread? I think the spread looks incredible. The ceviche, the ham with truffle. We got some foie gras and duck. We have some beef. All right, we're going in. Ham cook. Touch, t touch tips. Uh, Cheers. Don't touch my ham. Wonderful. Well, this is a hell of a start. Yep. Incredible. Scholar and a gentleman. Here you go. Thank Cheers. you, sir. So what'd you think? Well, I, I think between the Outer Reef 640 and having a chef on board, I mean, it seems like it seems like a five-star evening in my book. Galliac's pretty, works pretty well, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's really, it, it today was a great example of showing the boat the way it was intended to be used. We you know, had family, friends, colleagues around, and, and where did everyone hang out when the meal was, was ready? We're all gathered around the kitchen. I think well, that's, what, that's yeah. what it's all sort about. Stood up, ate a little bit. Sat down, stood up. Yeah, I'm sure it beats the um, power bar, handful of nuts, <laughs> banana if you can get one. Maybe. Typical Maybe. meal we have at these events. The Bocho okay. diet is uh, is not one to be envied, that's for sure. But say this boat certainly was. So stay tuned to the full report in an upcoming issue of Power Motor Yacht or PMYMag.com. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Cheers to you.